campaign to, uh, to uh, improve the health of the African Caribbean community. Michelle Moncrief now reports from the Merton Civic Centre. If you're a black woman of Caribbean origin, you are seven times more likely to suffer a stroke than your peers. These were the disturbing findings of doctors at St George's Hospital in Tooting. So there is a very high proportion of people belonging to the African uh, community and the Caribbean community who have hypertension, in other words, high blood pressure. And in the age 55 years or older, nearly one in two have a level of blood pressure which requires drug therapy. And that was about three times as high as the white British community, as a comparison. Historically, um, hypertension, stroke, has, all been, has always been linked with the black community. I remember certainly when I was in the Caribbean, people talked about having sugar as a complaint. And over here now it's been defined as diabetes. Um, so I've known for quite some time that we've always had some major problems in those areas. And obviously re research more and more is actually supporting that. Certainly what was useful about today is the fact that the research that was undertaken was quite localized. And therefore we are talking about real people. You know, and I thought it was quite relevant for the community and also professional people, certainly, to be aware of what's actually going on. And also about the resource that exists within the community through, say, for example, the statutory sector, the health sector in terms of the health promotion unit. And I think the onus is an organisation like ourselves to work with those respective departments in order to do the best we can. Within the context of today, it's really at three levels. So we've got staff here from the local leisure centre, Cannons, in Mitcham, who are providing one-to-one -one advice on how people can build exercise into their lifestyle and all the getting around the barriers of time, inconvenience, and making it enjoyable. Then at the other side, we're sort of bringing in, putting in information about local facilities where people can be active. So if it's in your local leisure centre or in the parks, walking, whatever takes your fancy. And then the sort of, I suppose the summit of it all is the demonstrations from Mr Motivator, just on the practical awareness, um, hopefully sort of reinforcing the messages that people will have heard and uh, people will be able to take out from today things that they can bring into their everyday life. And Motivate he did showing visitors to the conference that you can indeed exercise anywhere. Unlike this, you're hardly having to work harder. There is no barrier when it comes to exercise. You can start exercising at any stage in your life. What you've got to do is first of all check with your doctor that you can. Now, if you're, if you're a baby bloomer, in other words, you're my age, 45, all right, what you've got to do is start very gradually. And what we'll be doing today is just do some gentle exercise that anybody could do, sitting in your chair at home, on your bed, going up and down the stairs, washing windows, all those things that perhaps you didn't think were exercise is exercise. And that's what I'm going to do, is a bit of re-education. The large proportion of people with high blood pressure can receive effective treatment and the blood pressure can be reduced and controlled and strokes can be saved. So in other words, if you feel well, always get your blood pressure checked at any time. Don't wait for symptoms to appear. When you feel unwell, it's probably too late to reverse your damage. So hypertension is something that doesn't give you any symptoms at all. So go to your doctor regularly, get your blood pressure checked. If it's high, despite what you do with your lifestyle, take your tablets as advised. Having your blood pressure taken is as simple as that. As Dr. Capuccio says, if you feel there may be a problem, go to the doctor and get it checked. This is Michelle Moncrief reporting for Cable 17 News. And don't worry, the reading Michelle